in a universe parallel to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, an ordinary human recreates an iconic Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 scene in his living room. So, to recreate this scene, let's first analyze this clip. First problem is this background of a spaceship. And I don't have a custom build set, so I used Midjourney to help me create this background. If you haven't heard of Midjourney, it's an AI tool available on Discord where it generates these beautiful images from natural language descriptions. The first promo trial was Guardians of the Galaxy Spaceship Corridor with bright white light above, cinematic with a resolution of 16 by 9. And it gave me these four images, which are okay, but they appear to be a little bit too far away. So I repeated the prompt and adding the focal length of 35mm. And boom, this is a lot better and I decided to go with this one. Pop that image onto the TV with a camera in front. Then I look on the camera, it was way too bright. So I added the ND to make it a bit darker from the TV screen. And there we go, that's how it's... Uh, okay, we need lighting. Now, let's look at the lighting setup. And from his hair, we can see how the light is hitting from the top. So there's a top light. And if we zoom in into his eyes, I just never noticed how black your eyes were. Anyway, so as you can see, there's a reflection of a light that's coming from below. So I place one tube on the floor and another tube on the top. And then this is my face realizing I was way too low on the floor. So I added some cushions. Okay, it's time to shoot the scene. Okay, it's a bit boring, let's fast forward. And this is the final shot I decided to use. Now you notice my camera doesn't move like here it does because I don't have a set like this, a virtual production on Mandalorian where the camera moves with the background. Now onto the magical world of color grading. I used DaVinci Resolve to do all my editing and color grading. Here's a clip zoomed in to crop out the TV and added the black bars. And here's the original image for reference. Now to get the color grading as original, I could color grade it from scratch, but I'm feeling lazy today. So all I have to do is make sure my clip is selected and then right click on the reference image and then choose sharp match to this clip and voila. Okay, not quite there, so I need some more tweaks. First thing I notice is a little bit dark, so I'll bring up the brightness like this, a little bit more, yeah. And then I wanna color grade just me, not the background. There's this new feature on DaVinci Resolve called Depth Map. What it does is it will isolate the object closest to the camera separate to the background. So I'll create another node here and in the library I'll search for the effect Depth Map and drag that onto the new node and immediately you will see you're separating me from the background. The white is the object that you are color grading on. I'm going to switch off the preview so I can see what we're working on. Okay, let's look at the original reference image again. The skin and the hair is a lot lighter colored. Um, so I'm gonna drag that down, it's a bit too red here. Uh, slide it down a bit more. And then saturation up a little bit. Okay, uh, let's just have a quick look again. Right, okay, uh, I think we need to go down a bit more with that skin color. Still too red for me. And then uh, we'll increase contrast a little bit. Now, I still feel that it needs a bit more adjustment. Um, the skin and the whole area isn't quite right. So let's go back to the, um, the original. Let's just see what I'm actually missing. Okay, yeah, lighter skin, okay. I'm going to drag the gamma down a little bit more, just help to uh, get rid of the uh, too bluish color. I'm just trying to find the right spot. I think this yellow part is quite nice. Yes, right about up back a bit here. About yeah, about here looks good. Or down below up. Oh, I can't decide. Um, okay, yeah, this looks good. Now I want to increase the contrast a little bit more. And yeah, that's better. 
I still feel the skin's a little bit too blue reddish, so I'm gonna drag that a little bit more towards the yellow side. Yeah, this 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 looks good now. Okay, now I need to color grade the background. Same as before, I need to create another node and then drop the effect on there again. But this time I'm gonna select invert. Now you'll see the white is on the back, so we're color grading the back section. The background is quite simple actually. All I have to do is drop the saturation a little bit because it's too blue. And yeah, about there, looks really good. Okay, let's look at the reference image again. Yeah, almost there. I think I want to increase the saturation a little bit more, just a teeny tiny bit, yeah. Okay, this looks good. Uh, let's have a look at the original again. It's more contrast. Let's, yeah, let's bring down a lift again, give it a bit more contrast. Now, another thing I've noticed is that my face is super sharp because the lens I'm using. If you look at the original, it's quite smooth. So to smooth out my face, uh, I need another effect tool. Let's go up here and search for face refinement. That's the one and drag it onto the uh, first node. And then first we need to find the face by clicking analyze. And what it does is it will find the face throughout the whole clip from start to finish. So what this means is that it will only grade the face now. So I can move the amount of beauty to make myself look beautiful. Uh, it's just a kind of smoothing tool I need, uh, which is, I think it's in, in the actual amount in the, uh, in the skin mask section. And then we just increase the amount just a little bit on the uh, smoothing, because uh, if you do too much, uh, this happens. So we don't want that, we just want a just teeny tiny bit of a smooth uh, to match the original, that looks good. And let's do a quick comparison, yeah, and quick playback, this looks good. Okay, now we need to color grade the clothing, he's got this blue and burgundy color, and I've got this boring greenish color. So first thing I need to do is isolate my jacket. Uh, what I do is select the color picker and go over to select my jacket and turn the effect on. Now you can see it's highlighting other areas as well. Uh, I just want the jacket to be color graded. Let me denoise that a little bit, um, like that, yeah. Okay, so to select just a jacket, I need to mask just that area. Uh, so what I do is go to the masking tool here, window, and select the um, curve and then just draw around the edge of the uh, jacket and cut my head off. Heads will roll. Uh, watch out, don't go into the jacket, just above. And then we go all the way along to the right and at the bottom here, here we go. Okay, now it's isolated, we can color grade it. Okay, here we go. Um, so to get the jacket looking uh, like the original, I think it needs to be a bit blue. See that little bit blue? Uh, we'll adjust that gain a little bit towards the blue area. Um, I think, yeah, I think this is this is actually quite quite close. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's have uh, another another quick look from the original. A little bit darker. Mm, a bit more to the right. Okay, I need to bring down the contrast so it's a bit. It's a bit darker, it's too light at the moment. Let's drag it down. Here we go. Yeah, okay, this is definitely good now. Okay, the other thing I need to color grade is those stripes on my shoulders. As you can see, these are burgundy colors. Uh, so again, I need to isolate them using the curve tool. Uh, I'll fast forward this bit, it's quite boring. And there we are. Uh, I color graded them isolating by tracking them as well through the clip because they do move a little bit um, so that they stay colored during the whole clip. And if I 
turn off the uh, selection tool, uh, you will see it looks like it's just part of me. And this is how you become part of the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. And let's give you a quick final side-by-side -side comparison. Yeah, it's like as if I was there. Well, thanks everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like and subscribe button for more. Till next time.